Now, Ripple is absolutely trending, guys. Look at this. Why is Ripple trending? 150,000 tweets. You cannot make any of this stuff up. Now, why? It's because through Alderati just confirmed this, guys, of possibly the case getting delayed till we know right around the time of the collapse. Now, we're going to be talking about the case and what's really happening, guys, because yesterday, or I mean today, we just got confirmed. And yesterday, we actually talked about it, right? You cannot make any of this stuff up. This is impeccable timing, to say the least. Now, as you guys can see, everyone's talking about Ripple. Pretty crazy, right? The word is getting out there. So my question to you is, how is a Ripple case ongoing to this day, guys? Because from Will Chart breaking, Ripple expands into UAE. Payments provider will use XRP, right? So it doesn't make sense at all. Basically, if you go down here, XRP, XRP will not move, not yet. My view, I will never look at price. Market price is all, almost always wrong or manipulated, right? Instead, look at what the company is doing, partnerships, the deals, the use case. A big clue here, Amazon did exactly the same. Price worthless in background, exploding. Well said. New ODL partner on the way, Ripple execs met with an exchange in the UAE to discuss how Ripple enables money transfers, Inc. Um, ODL using XRP. The post concludes, we look forward to collaborating, right? There you guys go. Basically, wow. Ripple, the market leader in enterpri enterprise blockchain and crypto solutions, right? It was a great discussion on how Ripple could be a great enabler for money transfer entities to scale up for affordable cross-border payments instant settlement and continuous liquidity access with their on-demand liquidity using X, the XRP platform. We are excited to collaborate with you guys. You can't make any of this stuff up, right? It's super clear R that Ripple and XRP are everywhere, right? Where? Throughout the globe, guys. It's quite simple. So if we go back here though, eyes wide open, Ripple getting UAE. Integration as SEC investigation wraps up. Hmm. Perhaps is it going to be wrapping up soon or will it get delayed? Check this out. From the uh, the legal or the chief legal officer at Ripple, right? So the Ripple team basically confirmed us, guys. Check this out. The SEC has lost four of its last five cases in the Supreme Court thanks to the few that had the courage and resources to fight back against the SEC's bullying and clinging to stretch legal positions that were not faithful to the law, right? Wow. Crazy that he's talking about what? Keyword. Keywords, guys, Supreme Court, right? There you guys go. Now, a lot of people are talking about, wow, we have to wait maybe a few few more years now and whatnot, guys. But it's funny because we actually stated this, guys. Oh, my. I'm, I'm done, guys. Um... Or is Stuart Alderati uh, signaling to the SEC, hey, let's not take it to the Supreme Court. Why? Because you guys know the chances of the SEC losing are dramatically very high, right? So maybe he's signal signaling to the SEC that right there. Or perhaps he's, uh, Stuart is signaling to us that the case concludes in a few years' time, right around the class, which we talked about a long time ago. Val just stated as well, guys, years ago. Oh my, can I make this stuff up? Now, if you go down here, does this mean, quote, brace yourselves for the impact, right? As Bragg only has told, if any chances we see in order for Supreme Court, th uh, then we expect to see Ripple leave the United States, come to UK or the Nether Netherlands, aka crypto-friendly countries, right? There's no doubt that if the SEC doesn't win their case against us, that that is good for crypto in the United States, right? Now, it's interesting because if you go to the next week from Johnny Deaton and then from Bloomberg, United States crypto crackdown is prompting digital asset firms to look toward financial hubs overseas, clouding the country's position as an industry leader. Wow. Look at this, guys. A spate of crypto probes in the United States is prompting battered digital asset firms to look toward financial hubs overseas, clouding the country's position as a cornerstone of the industry. Of the industry, Singapore, Hong Kong, Europe, and Dubai are more enticing for cryptocurrency companies thanks to their regulatory efforts, tax advantages, and friendlier governments. According to the interviews 
with more than a dozen executives, former regulators, investors, and analysts. Managers decried what they called quote-unquote regulation by enforcement in ASAs, which has seen authorities crack down on the rule-bending activity rather than come up with new laws specifically tailored to digital assets. Wow. So a lot of these um, firms, companies are leaving the United States overseas, guys, right? Because it's more crypto-friendly. Now, I'm pretty sure Ripple is going to stay in America, guys, in the United States because this is all a plan for the last second when they play that final card, right? It's going to be overnight, in my humble opinion. At a time when Russia is cut off from SWIFT and countries are discussing global trade not being denominated in USD, the SEC is doing everything it can to assure that reality happens soon, while also making sure the United States is not a leader in the digital asset revolution, right? Will they get left behind? I don't think so. I think they have a special card brewing, guys, right? As you guys can see, a lot of people are talking about the Supreme Court, what's going to take place, guys. Is this a hint that Ripple anticipates fighting the SEC all the way to the Supreme Court? Guys, I stated this a long time ago. I mean, the XRP community said this years ago, that the case concludes at the same time as the collapse takes place. That's number one. Number two, if the case isn't, my, my opinion was, if the case does not conclude by March of 2023, then my final verdict, my final opinion will be, is that if it concludes uh, at the same time frame as the collapse. And that is all, guys, right? But remember, let's see them him in emails. Hmm. So that's interesting, right? Let's see, guys. Let's let's just let's just wait till March. I'm just waiting till March to see what actually takes place. That's all I'm waiting for, guys. Then we have concrete speculation or evidence in my eyes that we will know when the case finally ends. Look at this. All the way back at July 27, 2022, the delay tactic. SEC is waiting for a specific external event to play out. Once this happens, Ripple case concludes. Thanks for playing, right? I'm going to retweet this, guys. There you guys go. Because they're waiting for the collapse. Back at January 24th, 2022, the SEC case is rigged, is a rigged match. Like every other event in this world, is thoroughly planned out. The, deal, the distributed ledger techno uh, technology patent from a long time ago to who Ripple is connected with in their network, right? What happens is meant to. Do not deny that for a second. If there is an extension, it was a planned extension. These people do what they are told. Actors. Right? Exactly, guys. I have no doubt Ripple win and the current Supreme Court will shut down the SEC's gross overreach. We see what's taking place. Now, from Digital Asset Investor, for me, these three tweets are Ripple execs telling Gary that if he keeps... Um, effing around, he's going to find out. Remember, Gary won't be there much longer. Exactly, right? A lot of attacks on Gary as well. This is his year, 7. G. Gary wants the treasury um, a job and needs some kind of ripple victory as a trophy on his wall. He doesn't give a he doesn't give a rat's ass about uh, protecting investors exactly, right? He, they're in it for themselves at the end of the day as well, guys. I'm assuming the Supreme Court would make it someone else's victory if the SEC won, I, I still say this ends in settlement where Gary gets a record fine while Ripple also gets the XRP clarity now and going forward. There you guys go. What do you believe will take place? Comment down below. Right, it's all about, it's, it could be, could it be the him and emails? Could it be all about the him and emails? Last but not least, what do we see here? Watch this. Now the SEC already did. I am pleased to announce that Ethereum is not a security too. Right? There you guys go. How does this make sense? It doesn't. A commodity is a very broad definition. I'm not going to give it to you now, but essentially, if you have to say that a movie ticket is not a commodity, which is in our statute, it covers a lot of financial contracts. If it's a security, it gets kicked out. So to your question, Scott, we've been very clear on, 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 on Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a commodity under the Commodity Exchange Act. We haven't said anything about Ether until now. Uh, it is my view as chairman of the CFTC that Ether is a commodity, and therefore it will be regulated under the CEA. And my guess is that you will see in the near future uh, Ether-related futures contracts and other uh, derivatives potentially traded. It is a commodity. That's crazy, right? Remember, but the, remember, 
That That's just my personal opinion, by the way. That was all the way back from 2019. In my humble opinion, there's a reason why this is all happening, guys. That's what I believe, right? A lot of people um, believe otherwise, but I believe that there's a reason why they stated this right here. There's a reason why that the SEC have been uh, has has been going after Ripple, right? Remember, Amazon got sued, Tesla got sued, if I'm not mistaken, guys. Well, we know Tesla did, or I mean, Elon Musk did, uh, does hate the SEC, right? He does not, or he does not respect the SEC. And look where those companies are today. Think about it, not financial advice. But anyways, that's all for guys. Hey, Zinnia, see ya.